So, uh, multi-dose vials. Okay, so this is typically with um, pain medication and insulin. But again, it can be with, with whatever the doctor orders. And the reason that you're going to mix the medications together, and you have to check in your drug book if they're compatible. So. Um, the reason you do this is because you don't want to just inject the patient twice. Give them two needle sticks, right? Mm -hmm. Just make it easier for them. Um, so, how do you mix insulins? So say I had MPH, which is the long acting, and it's the cloudy kind. Say I needed uh, 10 milliliters of that. Okay, wait, no. 10 units. And then I need uh, regular insulin too, which is short acting and it's clear. We needed five units of that. You would do the clear and then cloudy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just because clear is not really pure and this has a mixture of insulin. So, okay. Um, there is kind of this procedure you do it with, but you'll probably learn in lab, and I think it'll be on the test. Um, the saying is cloudy, clear, clear, cloudy. Okay. Because um, if you look at vials, they need to have equal pressure in them. Right? So if you keep drawing up a vial without injecting air into it, it's going to like have negative pressure and it's not going to work. So you always need to inject the amount of air into the vials you're going to take out of the solution. So there's something that's called cloudy clear, clear cloudy. Because, okay, we're going to use these two things. So this is the MPH vial, and this is the regular vial. Mm -hmm. um, so what you do is, first things first, you take your two noodles. You can either do Sister Ward show to you when she just injected them into each other. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Sometimes you're just going to do this, though. This is what we did in competency. Um, so you clean the stopper on the top. You draw up 10 units of air of MPH, so air. Inject 10 units of air into MPH, take it out over there. Then you're going to take your other needle, um, draw up five units of air, draw it into the regular vial. So now both these have the amount of air in them that you need to take out of solution. So you draw, you just draw, drew in five units of air, then you're going to get five units of regular, mm -hmm. right? So this is good. Then you go into this one, the cloudy, and take out ten units of that mm -hmm. So it's like, so you're going to put in air first, air, and then you're right, you draw up the clear solution first, and then the cloudy solution. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It'll make more sense once you like physically do it. So, okay, just to make sure yeah. I have it, you have two needles and then you pull up like 10 milliliters of air and then you put it into the solution of cloudy. And you do the same thing with the clear, you pull up five milliliters. Different of needle though. Different needle, okay. Different needle, and then you put in five milliliters of air and then pull out five milliliters of clear. Mm -hmm. And then you go get the cloudy. Do you have to like re clean it after uh -huh. that needle? Okay. Every time, yeah. Okay. Every time before an injection, make sure you do the 30 seconds of friction. Okay. Um, also, on the desk, insulins, and in real life, <laughs> um, you need two nurses to look at doses. So now with like pain medications, um, usually they come in like an ampule or a vial. If you're an ampulus, I think you break. Yeah. So if you have an ampule or a vial, oh, a vial and an ampule, um, and you need both those in one syringe, what you can do, make sure they're compatible, is you draw up from the vial first, then go to the ampule. Usually because the ampule is like one dose, and plus you don't want the glass in the vial. So you always do vial first with the ampule. So, number, what is it, 24? Mm -hmm. So, skin and vial cleansing rules. 
Um, when you're going to cleanse the skin, so I'll take this. Um, what you do is say I'm going to um, do an intradermal right here. You take the alcohol prep and you start where you're going to inject it and go circular motions outward. That's it. Um, friction is important because it gets the germs off. And then also it's more painful if you inject the patient while the alcohol is wet on their skin because it stings more. So make sure it's dry but just don't fan it because okay. it's going to take it under. And don't touch it after, obviously. So you don't fan it? Because most people have seen them. Yeah, I don't fan it. It's because you're going to get microbloated. There's always a difference in hospital and like <laughs> in clinics world, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then vial cleansing rolls, we just talked about that. Every time, 30 seconds on the top. 